Welcome back, boys and girls. Another uh, music chat time with Mr. Collins and Mrs. Coin. Is that the... Did I say the names right? I think so. <laughs> it's like music <laughs> class all over again. Yes, you said our names right, Mr. Collins. It's your Mr. Collins and I'm Mrs. Coin. And it's so nice to hear from you guys. We yeah. love hearing about all of your things that you're doing with your friends and things. So, and welcome to the first week of virtual music school. It's been fun so far. Well, we've got some uh, new announcements uh, for you guys. What uh, Some things that we're working on. Um, we know you have your music assignments uh, as well as PE art and your other subjects on the My Learning, but we have some special music stuff that we are just doing for Double Branch Kids. Um, and we're gonna talk about some of that stuff today. So I think we're gonna start with Mrs. Coyne. You're gonna tell them about some stuff going on? Sure. Well, we had some, um, some questions about some of the assignments that you guys have been working on in, in class um, virtually. So kindergarten and first grade students, we just wanted to say great job in naming the instruments that you're hearing. Um, I hope you're singing along with all those videos. They're really fun to do. Um, we've gotten a lot of different assignments in many different ways. I loved hearing your, you guys videotaping yourselves and telling us the answers. It's been so much fun to listen to and hear you singing along with them. Um, some of you have been doing them writing on paper, and some of you have taken a picture of stuff and sent it in. And all of those ways are great. I know there's been some questions on how you should be, should, uh, how you should be submitting them, um, and all of those things are great. Um, second graders, I know we've enjoyed reading your responses about the questions, about comparing those two variations of the same song. Um, but here's a couple reminders for you. I know that sometimes when we we forget when we're writing that when we talk about grown-up voices, we're talking about men and women's voices, not boys and girls. So just keep that in mind when you're writing your answers. And then don't forget to respond to a classmate. Mr. Collins, I know that they've missed their friends so much. This is such a great way for them to be able to talk to each other and compare their notes. What do you think about that? Oh, I think that's fantastic because not only can you say, you know, um, hey, Taylor, that was a great answer. By mm -hmm. the way, How's your little brother doing? Is he still bothering you all the time? <laughs> you know, whatever. You could put whatever. But, it, but it's kind of a nice way to just sort of chat, socialize a little bit. Exactly. Wow. They, exactly. You guys, they want to hear from you. They miss you too. Um, and third through fifth graders, we know you've been learning about time periods and composers. Some of them we've touched on in class, but some may be new to you. And all these composers are very important to music history. And without them, we wouldn't have the music we have today which I know sounds a little strange, but it's true. So here's some things to look um, for in the coming weeks. We've got uh, story time with Mrs. Coyne. I've gotten lots of really cool books that we're gonna start videotaping me reading them to you guys. So it'll be fun for you guys to listen to and just something different for you to do. I know with all of your other things that you've been working on in class, you might want just some, some downtime and just to hear a story. Yeah, Mrs. Coyne, you know, my wife was just telling me today that one of the teachers at her school is doing um, a live story time at 8 o'clock every night. Oh, that's maybe, cool. Maybe you could start doing that, Mrs. Coyne. Uh, maybe. We'll uh, have to see. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put you right on. <laughs> but then there's also, there's... Every time at 8 o'clock, we'll tune in, Mrs. Coyne. Noah and I will be sitting there with our popcorn. Oh, Mr. Collins, Mr. Collins, always something. Um, but Mr. Collins has something to share with us too, don't you, Mr. Collins, about Virtual Talent Day? That's right. So first of all, we talked about this last time, the Virtual Talent Day thing, and we're going to do it um, uh, Monday. Um, Mrs. Coyne and I are going to publish all of our music courses onto, uh, what's that thing? My Learning that you guys- My Learning. Yeah, they've already got a My Learning music course in there. But on Monday, you're going to see two music courses in there. And the, the second one, the new one that you see, that's the one from just Mr. Collins and I. So that's where you'll find all this new cool stuff that we're doing too. Yeah, and it's not anything to stress you guys out or at no. adding any more work. All of this is optional. It's just if you want to do something fun and music related. It's not for a grade. It's not for mm -hmm. um, anything that's required. 
this is just, especially for those of you who are super bummed out about, oh, the musical and, oh, the, you know, the chorus and Orf show. And listen, we're right there mm -hmm. with you. So we're trying to supply you with some opportunities to, um, to, to, to for enrichment that you can um, participate and still feel a part of a group. So the virtual right. talent day is one way. And um, I think I talked about that a little bit last time. There, there's more information on there, but it's going to be like our talent day we do in music class anyway, where you can do any talent that you would like to. It doesn't have to be music. You could sing, you could dance, you could do magic. And Mrs. Yeah. Coyne, we're always talking about kids who like to cook. And Absolutely. And now they can share it right with us. We can do it. Normally we're like, now nah, you can't cook in here, but mm -hmm. you can have an oven. You could have your parents help you and you could videotape yourself, you know, just like in the chopped kitchen. So um, exactly. that's your talent, maybe magic, maybe pet tricks. You can't bring your pet <gasps> to school, but you could do pet tricks for your virtual talent day. Absolutely. Just videotape yourself with your pet and it'll be awesome to see that. It'd be that's so cool. Super cool stuff. So um, that's going to be posted in those music pages that we mentioned. Also, something that um, it's brand new. Mrs. Coyne and I sort of decided, talked about it today. We're going to try um, something called a virtual choir. So if you don't know what that is, um, you can YouTube it. There's some examples out there. But uh, we're going to try it two ways. We're going to try it, first of all, for the second and third graders in the musical. And depending on how many of you um, actually do this and what kind of response we get, that will determine how far we go with it. I mean, if we have a hundred kids who are sending in videos of themselves singing these songs, you know, Mrs. Coyne and I talked about like, hey, you know what, let's have the kids who have speaking parts record their speaking parts. And exactly. Do a virtual musical. That's a Absolutely. They re could record one, one line at a time as each a separate video and then send them on in. That's right. So um, that's one thing. And then also for chorus kids, I know ORF kids, you're like, but what, what? Orf kids, you are free and welcome to participate in, uh, oh, absolutely. in chorus and join in with their songs. But uh, for chorus, same thing. Um, you will be able to participate in this virtual choir. And as soon as this little video that Mrs. Coyne and I are doing, this chat is done, um, I made a little kind of how to, um, how to um, record yourself for the virtual choir. And um, if we have, like I said, if we have a, a big response on a lot of kids doing it, Awesome. If not, then you know what? No problem too. We don't want to add any stress to your lives or pressure or anything like that. No, but we know that you guys have got a lot going on already. Yeah, we so. know kids out there like Kira Butler who are like, please let me see, please. <laughs> and for those of you who are out there just dying to, to, to let your talent out, let your light shine and, and you know, get your sing on. Um, yeah, we want to give you that opportunity. So um, like I said, that information will be at the end of this video. And then on Monday, that's Mrs. Coyne. What's Monday? I'm going to have to look at my phone. I don't even know the date. Me Monday either. the 13th. I'm so, not even sure what day today is, Mr. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Wednesday the 8th. Tomorrow oh. is Thursday. That's when my toilet paper shipment is supposed to arrive. From yes. <laughs> yes. Who knew it'd be like Christmas when you got toilet paper? <laughs> Down to the last two rolls over here. So, oh no, I'm Mr. Collins. Anyways, too much information probably. <laughs> so, um, but Monday, uh, April 13th. April 13th. Um, that is when we'll go live with all this stuff. So, um, that's when you'll be able to upload your videos and um, whether it's for virtual talent day or for the virtual choir thing. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, chorus kids, you've got all your songs on there. Second and third graders, you've got all your Go West songs on there. Right. Um, the main thing is just to practice them so that you're not recording take after take after take after take going, oh, I messed up, oh, I messed up, oh, I messed up. Practice them so when you do it, you're ready, you got it done, and you move on to the next song. Did I forget anything, Mrs. Coyne? Um, I don't think so, except you did forget your sing-along videos that you and Mrs. Collins have been making at your house. Oh, that's right. We have been making mm -hmm. sing -along. We're going to try to make more. It's a little difficult, Mrs. Coyne, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and for those of you that stay on and watch the uh, how-to of the virtual video, <laughs> there's a special cameo from uh, my son, uh, Caleb, and you'll hear him screaming in the background pretty much the entire video. So, yay! Um, but 
it's a little bit hard to make those, but we're going to try to to make a few more uh, so you really? can sing along with us. So much fun to, when you've got somebody else to sing along with. It'd be right. awesome. Yep. So. All right. I well, think that's it for now, right? I think that is, guys. Keep sending in your assignments. Um, if you have any questions on them, please feel free to contact Mr. Collins and I. We would love to give you a hand. Um, second graders, don't forget to respond to another student when you send in your assignment too. That's really important. So I hope you guys have a great day and it's great seeing you guys. We hope you're all safe and happy and we'll hope to see you soon. See you later. Bye guys. All right, hi boys and girls. Mr. Collins here coming from my home. And if you hear a baby crying in the background, that's just Caleb. He's going down for nap time right now. And I'm here, I know you can't see him, but my buddy Noah is with me. He's just watching. He's not gonna be on the video today. But the reason I'm here is to give you a little tutorial on how to put together your virtual choir video. So for those of you in second and third grade for the musical and for chorus kids, uh, we're gonna try this virtual choir thing. If we get a lot of you doing it, I think it could be amazing. But you gotta learn, really, there's two major steps that you have to do, and I'm gonna <clears throat> teach you those right now. So, um, the first thing is um, you need to go to be able to access um, the, um, <clears throat> the music webpage. So, uh, for those of you who haven't done it yet, and I think most of you have, you go to Google, or as Miss Call Miss Coin calls it, the Google, and you're going to type in. Easiest thing to type in is um, D B E S music, and then you'll click on a music page. You could click on second and third grade musical if that's where you're going. That'd probably be easier. But a music page is good enough, and that'll take you here. Um, I've been putting up quotes from kids who fill out this form. It's about to pop up whenever it loads. There it is. The what are y'all up to form and um, Feel free to fill that out, and then I'll post some of those quotes. I think there's a couple I'm behind on. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up soon here. Um, and then uh, down below we have the second and third grade musical and the chorus page, and that's where we are really focused today. Also, I will point out I've got Mrs. Coyne. I have some videos up here. Um, you can always check that out too. So uh, let's click on the second and third grade musical page, and I'm not gonna wait for it to load. I already have it pulled up here. All right, so now for this uh, virtual choir video, here's how you do it. Um, you'll need two devices, <clears throat> okay? You'll need one device to watch the video and listen to the music that's coming um, from the video. Then you'll need another device to record yourself. Now this is the trick. This is the key thing in a virtual choir video whatever device you're listening to and you're watching okay for me that would be my computer right and that's the screen you're seeing right now my computer screen you need to have headphones plugged into that okay that's super important so I've got my headphones plugged in now if you don't have uh, if your if your other device isn't a computer say it's a phone or an iPad that's fine um, if you have um, let me switch over here the big Mr. Call. There we go. Um, if you have these Bluetooth um, headphones, um, or maybe you have AirPods or the fake AirPods. I don't know what those are called. Faux pods. I don't know. Anyways, whatever you have, um, you'll need to have those hooked up to the device that's playing the music. Now, pro tip: uh, in order for you to, because you need to hear the music, but you need to hear yourself too. I don't know if you know that. Um, and chorus kids know we do the, the microphone. But one way you can you can make that happen is just by taking one of the um, headphones and just pulling it off your ear so that this ear can hear my voice and then the other one can still hear the music. Now, for these, it's even easier. I just put one in and then the other one is left out. So, easy breezy, all right? Okay, so then, once we've got our headphones on, I'm going to pick the song I want to do. Now, of course, guys, if you don't know the song really well, before you do any recording, you need to practice and make sure you know the song very well. And then once you're ready to go, <clears throat> you're going to get your, your other device. Remember, I told you you need two devices. So I've got my cell phone here, and I'm going to put it in video mode. 
and then selfie mode. Okay? And uh, I want to make sure, once again, I already said it, but I want to make sure it's not in photo mode, but in video mode. Very important. I would hate for you to, to go through the whole thing singing, and then you'd say, let me watch my video, and you're like, it's not moving. That's because it's a picture, because <laughs> it wasn't in video mode. So make sure you put it in video mode. And then press record on this device first. That's very important, okay? Because I can always trim, but you need to press record on this. So I'll press record, okay? And then I will press, when I'm ready, I'm going to press play on this video over here. So here I go. <clears throat> and I'll get ready. I've got to sing my best, get my voice warmed up. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'm ready. That's good. All right, here we go. And I can hear the music. I know you can't, but that's the idea. Here I go. Go west, young man. Go west, young woman. Go west. And seize the day. All right, now I'm not going to make you suffer through uh, my singing for the entire thing, but that's what you'll do, and you'll you'll go through the entire song, then you'll press stop recording, and that's it. Now, for step one, that's it for step one. So then, the next step. This is the part that I think uh, people think is the hardest, but hopefully. Um, Mrs. Coyne and I have made it easy enough for, for you that you can all do this. Um, good news is uh, the place where you're going to upload your um, video is on my Pasco Connect, on your uh, my learning page. Um, the only thing you need to know is we're putting it into not your grade level course, but your music course. Now, we haven't published those yet, so if you're like, I don't have a music course, you will, okay? So probably you have two courses, maybe three, but one of them will say specifically music. So when you click on that, <clears throat> it's going to look like, well, I don't want it to look like that. Uh, well, okay, well, you'll see assignments on here, maybe because I haven't published it yet. And one of them will be DBS Virtual Talent Day, which we told you about. And then we have Virtual Choir Upload. You're going to click on that. Okay, so then an unpublished module. Okay, this is a hashtag fail video right now. Mr. Collins did not publish. Oh, I know, I have to click this. There we go. Now, drum roll, please. Ta da! Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Mr. Collins. Okay, so then I'm going to click on it, and now it's going to work. Yes, told you. <laughs> then I'm going to see, okay, virtual choir upload. Upload your virtual choir video below. Okay, that's not quite right. Whatever. Click submit assignment. Oh, now it is right because now it is below. Then I'm going to click on, now I'm giving you choices here, guys. I'm giving you choices. Um, and here's one of your choices is to just upload the file. So if you're doing it on your phone or your iPad, you can just upload it <clears throat> directly from your device. You choose the file, you choose the location, and you're good to go. The other thing you could do, for those of you who, who parents have YouTube channels or whatever, um, or Vimeo, you can upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo and, and send me the link, and I can pull it straight from YouTube or Vimeo or whatever. Okay? Um, the other option, um, no, that's it. Pretty sure that's it. So, um, then you submit it. It'll take a little while to upload. Videos are big, so give it time. Let it upload. But that's it. And then Mr. Collins will take over from there, and that's all you have to do to do the virtual choir thing. Okay? So, I hope that you, a lot of you guys do this, because if you do, it'll be amazing. And I'll tell you, I, I went on YouTube, and I was searching up virtual choirs. I encourage you to do it, too. There's not a lot. There's re there are really not a lot of virtual choirs, especially children's choirs, there's just not a lot. And I think part of the reason is because people think they're super, super hard to make. And they aren't easy to make. But if you guys do the videos and you get them sent in, I can do it. No problem. We can put it together. And I think it would be an awesome thing to do. So hopefully you get it done. And I look forward to seeing your videos.